Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've uh, been hearing that prom is just around the corner. So I decided let's just do a prom night look. Well, mainly just the eyes. I do already have half my makeup on and I'm only going to do an eye tutorial. So if you do want to know how to do the rest of your makeup, you know what to do and just leave a comment on the section below and I'll go ahead and do another tutorial where it's a full face and eyes tutorial. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and we can jump right into all the fun colors. Okay guys, so first things first, we should prime our eyelids, but mine are already primed. I did use a Thank Me Later by Elizabeth Mott. And that's what I do have on my eyes right now. I'm going to be picking up the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette just because there are more pink or neutral colors. And since these kids are in high school, you don't want to go too heavy or too bold. I mean, there's some that do want that, but I thought pinks might be a very nice color to work with. So I'm going to be going in with the Cashew Chew as a transition color, and that's this one right here. I'm going to be picking that up and I'm going to just put that on the brow bone area. It's going to be a very soft, it's like a very soft vanilla color. It's vanilla with pinkish, a pink hint to it. So put that there. Okay, next I'm going to be going in with Almond Truffle, and that's going to be a darker shade of brown, but not too dark. So I'm just going to be doing the same thing, but this time I'm only going to be picking up a little, just to define a little more of our brow bone. And I'm going to be just pretty much putting it on top, or um, layering it. I said that funny. Layering it onto the same color. So it's just going to bring out or enhance enhance that color that we already have and also our brown bone brown <laughs> you know what I should probably just not talk anymore guys the brow bone you know what I'm saying okay so once we're done with that we are gonna be going in with a darker brown and it's gonna be mocha and again, guys, you don't have to go out and buy this palette to do this look. You can always just do the same or mimic the color. If you already have some colors out there that are pretty much alike or very similar, you can do that. No need to go out and buy the same palette or same colors that I'm using. Just a soft brown. Think of maybe, I don't know, like a milk chocolatey brown. You can pull that off too and we're just going to be taking a pencil brush and I'm going to create an angle to our eye. So you want to follow, I, well, I personally follow my bottom lash and I just sweep that up and then go forward now just to create kind of that angled look on the eye like an almond shape because this is where our dark color is going to sit. So let's go ahead and just fill that in a little. Again, we're not gonna go too heavy because you don't wanna have that too grown of a look when you're just in high school. So already that's already looking very pretty with the transition color. It's so funny, you know, like in high school I was never really, well, I I say soft colors just because that's my preference. I wore lip gloss and mascara all the way till I was about 19, going on 20. I never really used anything else. And when I had prom or homecoming or anything like that I never really went out to do my makeup I just did it at home and I did mascara a little bit of liner on the bottom on the waterline and then I added a lip gloss so there was never really makeup 
that I did for those kind of events. I was, my mom was very, you know, um, just use what you already have. No need to look older. You're still in high school. So I wasn't, I wouldn't say I wasn't allowed. I just, it was preferred not to wear it. And using eyeliner was a big deal for me. I was more than enough. Okay, so now that we have that color in the corner, all we're gonna do is blend it out a little. And if we do need to make it a little more bold, we can, judging by the way it is already blended out. So let's just go ahead and blend that in. We're not gonna do too much because we do want the color to stay on there. We're just gonna blend it to where there's no harsh lines. So that does look cute already. So if you feel just by looking, you might want it a little darker, go ahead and you can go in with the same color or you can go in with molted, sorry, with molted, which is right here, oh, nope, it's right here. And it's more of a dark chocolate color. So let's go ahead and do that just so you can see. And then you can go ahead and judge it from there. I'm gonna be adding just a little dot, as you can see, on each side, just so we don't overdo it. We still have the same look. We just made it a little darker. Go ahead now and go in with a blending brush. And I do have a smaller blending brush, as you can see, it's a small tapered blending brush. And I'm just going to blend that right in. And we'll go into the upper area of the brow bone. And in circular motions, I'm just going to blend that out. So what you wanna do is you're pushing up. So your circle or you're circling that motion and you're pushing up at the same time. So it goes into that brow bone. So already that did give us a little more to work with, a little more color. And I think that we are fine. Again, if you feel you can go a little darker, you feel more comfortable going darker, that is up to you. We can, it, it's all on preference. So I'm just gonna fix that color a little better. And then we're gonna move on. So from here, I'm gonna be using two pinks and one is sprinkles and one is cotton candy. This one is sprinkles. This one is cotton candy. I'm going to be laying cotton candy down first and then going in in the middle of the eyelid with a little bit of sprinkles. There's going to be two shades, but we're not gonna just cut it. It's going to be blended out nicely, but so we can see that there's a darker shade of pink and then kind of like a highlight in the middle of your eye with a softer pink. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I'm just going to spritz my brush as always and I'm going to enhance that color a little more by doing that. Let's go ahead and pick that color up and put it into our eyelid. So I'm gonna pick that up. And don't worry guys, if this falls, you're not gonna go into the darker shade, but if it does happen to fall into the darker shade, you can always go back and bolden that up. You're just going to do on the part where the dark shade stops. Don't go all over the eyelid, because then, you're not gonna have that matte effect on, on the bold part, the dark part. You're gonna have some shimmer with some dark colors to it. Okay, so nothing is blended out. I did All I did was just go and lay the pink on the eyelid, as you can see. Now I'm gonna be picking up a flat brush and going in with sprinkles, which is a softer pink. Now I'm gonna place this in the middle of the eye so it looks more like a highlight or a focus point on the eye. There's even a highlight on this palette. I'm gonna spritz it to pick that up and place it exactly where we want it to be placed. Now that is looking very pretty. So it's pretty much packing it, but only in a certain area in the middle with just a little bit. And we're just gonna make sure that that is packed on nicely. Now what I'm doing too is I'm picking up this highlight 
and it's called satin sheets so what I'm gonna be doing is mixing those two so don't pay any mind to as to how many dabs I do just these two right here I'm going back and forth with them and I'm placing that again in the middle and the reason why I decided to pick up on that highlight is because highlight does tend to have a little more of a glow shimmery effect to it so I'm just gonna do that to the middle of the eye now let's go ahead and blend the rest out you can go ahead and pick up the same small blending brush you had or just another blending brush that you want I did pick up another one and I'm just gonna be blending out the edges pretty much now what I'm gonna be doing for the smaller brush small blending brush I'm going to be blending out the middle or the inside of it So since that fallout did go onto the darker shaded area, let's go ahead and darken that up with the same molted dark chocolate brown. So we're just gonna dab that into there and blend that out and upwards to the brow bone of the eye. Let's go ahead and take that small blending brush and blend that inwards, guys. And with the bigger brush, I'm going to be blending that out. Also, guys, if you didn't know, the brushes with the white bristles give it more of a natural look to your product. So that's why I'm going to be using this because I want it to be a soft, bold color, I guess. <laughs> so the next step after those steps with the eyeshadow is to put on the eyeliner and I already did that off camera <laughs> okay now for the bottom lashes we are going to be going in with this shade and it's kind of like a maroonish brownish color so we are going to be working that in and we're going to go lightly not too dark not overpowering and not overdoing it so let's go ahead and pick that up I'm dabbing it very lightly so I'm just dabbing this in literally just a little bit and we're gonna be bringing that in. You see, with just that little, it's already so pigmented, so you don't wanna overdo it and take away from the look up top. So just push that towards the inner part of your eye. And you can go ahead and leave this area a little blank, because we are gonna go in with a pinkish highlight in that area. So now that blank part that we do have right here, we're gonna go in with the shade Sprinkles, and that is that light color of pink. And let's just go ahead with the same pencil brush, go in and fill in that right there. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we are gonna go back with a small blending brush right here and we are going just to blend that out a little bit. You might wanna look up for this just to get those harsh lines out of the way and if it does seem like it disappeared it's okay we're not trying to keep that pink completely there it's just to highlight that area so with some highlight i am going to go in and put that into our inner corner of our eyes and you can use something else maybe something brighter um, it's up to you. Now for some mascara, I'm going to be picking up the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And I'm just going to be putting that in. Um, most <laughs> girls from high school do want some lashes. So you can go ahead and do that. I am going to be picking up some lighter lashes. Not so dramatic. It's just going to be a very nice evening look but soft at the same time. And most of the time they're okay with that because they're not so used to the dramatic lashes. So we'll just go ahead and place those on and they're gonna be looking very nicely, guys. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I think the look came out great and fantastic. I am very much so digging the look. It's very soft but it still has some color to it, and it goes very well with prom night. 
So as always guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do so now. There's also a little bell right next to the subscribe button that lets you be notified immediately whenever I post a video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to put them down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.